Anton, what sort of madness is this?
Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Hi. No, I've not taken my meds. Do I still have purpose? Yes, I do. Okay. I should have did that before I started, but you will. We're doing this now. Ah, yes. Hopefully, some of these eggs will give us chicken after all the fucking work we're gonna go through. Bye -bye. Um. Yeah, um. It was a little, we started a little later because I needed a nap. I needed a longer nap. Um. I had woken up, like, a little bit before my time and I was like, yep, nope. This is not gonna work. I gotta get longer. So I was like, give me another hour. Fishy fish fish. So I got to go see the new Elemental movie. It's cute. And also TG, congrats on being first. Um, it was cute. Um, the thing is, um, I, I pretty much cry at like every movie. Um, but I had cried before the movie because they had put a little short dealing with the, um, the characters from up and I was like oh no I was like because I've seen some of them I think they had like different little shorts on like Disney Plus but then this one um he he was like pretty much a, like accepting or like getting ready to go on a, a date and then just trying to accept that it was okay. And I was like sitting there, I was like, I'm balling before this movie starts. <laughs> ah. But I kind of forgot how expensive movie theater like concession is because most of the time when I go to movie theaters, I don't usually get anything in the movie because I, um, I usually, um, tend to forget that I do have something. So, um, by the time, like, I, most people are like, oh yeah, I finished, like, all my stuff during the movie. I'm, like, sitting there at the end, I'm like, munch, 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 munch. Oh yeah, I went to an actual movie theater, yes. I did that today. I took two little um, gremlins with me. Um, we had um, kind of free passes um, because when my little brother had went, um, I guess something happened to the movie camera or something that they couldn't um watch so they got like hey we're sorry take these so he was like okay cool but he went back out to washington so and they had just been kind of sitting on the fridge so my mom was just like here take these and two of the gremlins and go watch a movie i'm like all right I still have my lemonade from the movie theater <laughs> because I pretty much have passed out immediately after coming back. Uh, speaking of, um, speaking of nothing, I am going on a trip, um, on Friday. 
So we'll have our Wednesday stream, but I don't think we're not going to have our, um, our Friday stream. And I should be back Wednesday, but I don't know. Um, it will kind of depend on how I feel on Wednesday. If I'm actually going to stream. So it will probably be that Friday that I do stream. But, um, I don't know if I'll even be in Caro's chat. <laughs> It'll kind of depend on if I wake up or whatever, because we're supposed to go with, um, some of my mom's friends. So, we will see. Speaking of my mom, we caught up on One Piece! Um, we caught up on the English dub. The English dub is at 960 right now. Like, kind of around there. Um, but they said they should be caught up to the sub around September. So I think that's when we all jump back in. Which, they're kind of around 100 episodes ahead. Which, they're doing very well with catching up. Because before, they were only at like the... 500s so they're doing pretty good with catching up it's a little insane and I'm like damn but I think after like towards September we should have one to one like sub and dub releases 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 um Is that? It's the fact that I'm going to go on a boat. So sad. Ew. Ugh, son. <laughs> you think they'll find it weird if I just bring an umbrella? My mom's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, me. I'm going to burn. So I'll probably bring a jacket and she's going to be like, you bitch. And then her friend's going to see how fucking weird I am. I'm like, let me, I'm going to bird. I wonder how spending the 4th of July is going to be, um, not at home. To be fair, we usually go over to their house anyways when it's the 4th of July to watch fireworks. Or if not... I'm gonna have to deal with this. Damn it. I hate dealing with mosquitoes because I'm allergic to bug spray. Uh, so we're definitely gonna see. I was gonna say it, it's a return to normal. What? Me finally streaming after not doing it for the week that I was like kind of just ill. <laughs> uh. Oh, bah, 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 bah. I need to get around to you also adjusting Anton, my mic. What sort of madness is this? Huh? Thank you for subbing for five months. I hope you enjoy your your emotes and your sub badge. <laughs> yeah, it's been five months. And yeah, it, it is normal because we because you have been to their house. So, it's gonna be kind of there. It's been a month of no conventions. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe it took me so long to finally put my cosplay stuff away. It literally was just sitting in a corner. But the thing is, it's such a workout to grab it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 
I feel that. Like, literally, I had to push myself to be able to put it away. Like, I kept meaning to do it. And then every, like, every time I stared at it, I was like, oh, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. And finally, I got around to... It, it's just, it's hard because it's my um, cosplay bin is above my head. And it has all the costumes in it, so... Getting it down is always a workout. Ooh. Yeah, I believe afterwards I was I was laying down. I was like, don't make me move. I'm just gonna lay here. I was able to finish um also this weekend, I was able to finish the miracle mask thumbnail that I had uh, did an art stream which it's been quite a while since we did an art stream but um, I was finally able to do it I had to redraw the fucking hand because I hated that hand so much and then it like <laughs> My phone was just being a bud because it wouldn't send the photo that I needed for reference. Because damn hands. Um, but I was finally able to get finish that and get that uploaded, and I was like, oh thank goodness. I couldn't! I was having her hold the mask so I couldn't do it. It's not like I need to be precise because my hands don't show a lot of detail. <sighs> but other than that everything's been pretty chill. Um, we're supposed to get our new dishwasher soon. I can't wait. I don't want to do the dishes anymore. Not that I have been. My mom's been doing a lot of it. But we also will be finally be able to go back to using normal plates. What's wrong with the old one? Oh, it just stopped working. It stopped working about, I think, about a month ago. <laughs> We've been doing the dishes for a while. Do, do, do. But yeah, we've been uh, having the little ones use paper plates and we've just been throwing it out. We're like, no dishes. Oh. Uh, we set up a TV in front of the sink so we could watch shows as we do dishes. Oh, poor thing. I know. It was nuts. And then our ice maker doesn't work on the fridge. Yeah, luckily we had a bunch just on hand, so I don't think we really needed to go out and get new ones. Just a lot of silverware. But those weren't too bad. Hello, Fancy! How are you? <laughs> Do you know how to work on 3D printed? I do not. Ooh, it's cool. Num, 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 num. Those are M&Ms. Num, 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 num. Okay, there it is. Mm. Having your friend 3D print some boots. Ooh. But yeah, I've never worked at 3D printed items, so. YouTube is probably your best bet.
<laughs> no, she's doing. You're good. You're just chilling. Yeah. Chill, chill. Yeah. Three printer. It's not working right now, but also it's working. Ooh. Yeah, I never have worked on anything, but I've seen um people um just different things that people would do with it, and I was like, oh, those are cool. Puppy, puppy, lay down. My cabinet. Oh no. Yeah, like my plan is to like work on other cosplays, but and again, as soon as I get kind of back from um this trip, I gotta go find a job. Well, I have what do you use? Three print your clothes. <laughs> Cotton candy. Wow. <laughs> I remember using a cotton candy machine before <laughs> when um when me and mom still did the concession building. I had this one kid who would stand around protecting me. And he was because the fly or not flies, but the wasp would come around. And this kid was killing wasps left and right with a um, a kind of candy little paper thing. <laughs> As I was making all of the cotton candy. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> He did. <laughs> like, I was like, you're crazy. And I was like, they better not come after me. <laughs> I swear. And that boy just chopped him in half. I know. It was just like the paper thing, too. And I was like, D <laughs> I appreciate it. Sarah would have been just like hanging out with the wasp. with chopsticks. You see that buzz cut? Oh. Oh. Ugh. And then I've been, um, recently I started playing, um, one of the, uh, like, a new game that's still, like, an early access called uh, Coral Island. So I have been, pretty much when I was feeling ick, I've been kind of playing that. <laughs> and I've, like, kind of caught up to where, like, I'm still waiting for updates. I'm like, no, updates. The next update's, like, quote unquote, in the fall. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, I don't want to wait. <laughs> Those are always the worst. It's like, no, I want to play up now. I was like, I know. Like, I know, like, all of the stuff that it's like, it takes time to get everything. And I was just like, oh, so impatient, though. <laughs> I gotta, um, also, I gotta test out because I think Little Witch in the Woods also has an update, so. I gotta go see how that one is doing. Because they had kind of made an announcement on Steam, so... If it's just like a small thing, I might have... I might do like a small stream or whatever. 
for that. Mm. Bing bong! Hi, Flamingo! How are you? <laughs> And it throws it at him. <laughs> I think I could pretty much only play Minecraft when I'm like with people. I'm also like <laughs> terrible or like I remember the last time I played like I had to stop because my dog got trapped under a waterfall and I couldn't find him. So I had listened to him die and I was like well I'm traumatized goodbye. Um, is that the new one that kind of came out? I think I watched someone uh, play it a little bit, but other than that, no, no, I, I haven't played it at all. I've only watched um, someone play it a little bit. Also had like I I did post a photo in the Discord. Who? I've only played that with my brothers. <laughs> Which we haven't gone back to it, but we also haven't finished a few other games. Um I posted a photo in the Discord, but I had um gotten plants. And like I had planted and I was like, oh lord. He, he's good. I believe it should work. If not, I'm sorry. I could do zoomies. One, two, three. Oh my. You're in. He's in. He's hacked. Huh. Oh. Kidding. Well, I finished my lemonade. <laughs> Time to spin <laughs> the memes. I do like I do look at everything that gets posted because our channel is not that active, but um, because I share it with my friend Caro. Um, <laughs> we are like most of the time we will like either respond to different things or like we're watching, you know, like yay. I might do. Oh, uh, mm, oh no! I'll wait until I do a new artwork then. So I was like, oh, maybe I should post the, like, the little art that I did for the Miracle Mask. And I was like, it's the same fucking artwork. What am I talking about? <laughs> and then I also thought about, like, because sometimes I'll do things offline. I had thought about, I was like, oh, maybe I should like, I don't know, maybe do stuff offline, like videos and just upload them to YouTube. So I was like, some things I just, I was like, I want to play this now, but then most of the time it is, um, like those little farming games. I do enjoy them, but they have a lot of their kind of downtime, which I also like a lot of time I like to pause and then kind of do something else. Not like actual farming simulator. <laughs> kind of like, um, Story of Seasons, Pioneer Town, like.
This is what <laughs> we heard for the minds of the fox. Of course, most of the other times, um... Uh, I'm usually watching videos during the thing too, which... I'm trying to think about how I would do that. Maybe just another pair of headphones so the mic doesn't catch up on when I record things. But it will be interesting to possibly do. So I might do some of that maybe because there are some games where I'm like, hey, these would be really cool and fun. I did not. Those were That was one of the shows that I did not kind of get into. I'm like, I'm very iffy on kind of like early 2000s uh, cartoons because during that time, um, I was into watching Animal Planet way more than I was into kind of watching cartoons. Hearing about it, so I'm starting to give it a chance. I hear that it's good. I heard that a lot of people did like different things from then, and I was just like, I don't have time, kind of. But, um... Depending on what type of job I get, I might, like, the stream schedule might shift. But I also don't know because, well, I don't have a job. But, see, TG can vouch for it. <laughs> oh, it's on Netflix, too. Ooh. Oh, I can go watch the One Piece movie with my mom again. But I guess they haven't. I haven't really gotten up to the point. Watch the Black Clover movie. I was like, I don't even follow Black Clover. All I know. I was like, I can watch it, but I'll be so just explosions and fights. I don't have a secret, but we're doing a code lookout group next. We're doing a what? What the fuck is a cow lookout? <laughs> mm hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, I kind of will figure things out kind of more close to the con. Um, just because I don't have money to spend. Who is who so far? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you doing? You're rich. No, I'm not. Not, not by a long shot. I pretty much have been just living off of my savings, and oh, he's a man. I was like, I'm like, I'm not rich. I'm just over here thinking you miss. Um. Yeah, I've been pretty much letting off my savings, and I've come to the end of that, so now I have to, now I have to go back to work. But, we will see. But, other than that, I think I pretty much locked you guys up. So, I think I might be okay. And switch on over. Bing! Bum, bum, bum.
There he goes. I was like, ah, fuck, is it doing? Why am I waiting for it? <laughs> Let us continue. This one feels like what? Ooh, League of Legends. Okay, essentially we need to figure out how to um pretty much get the egg from the old man, the chief. Um Okay, we got four things in this one. I don't know. They haven't said that we were like, oh you need to do this. We're just kind of moving on. Um, I wanted to check this to kind of figure out where we are. Um, okay. This is what I was looking for. I was... Yeah. What's up, Fancy? Black chestnut. Uh, I am looking. Okay. Did a little of this beforehand, but I did not. Ooh, wait a moment. Okay, wait a moment. We already did this one. Ooh, um... Oh, the oh. <laughs> Yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yes, okay, this is where we are. Tumbling forests don't put be put off by the trees. They only get in the way if you let them. The ones <laughs> fucking do it. Okay. Um all right, I see where we need to go with this. Um, I do see where I need to go with this, but okay. We're just going to go ahead and pick up one of these. Uh, can I change point of view, please? Just to make sure. Oh, that's not going to grow a tree. That's just going to... Okay, hold on a minute. We're just going to put this down. I'm going to pick this up. I'm just going to roll. Um, see, I don't think I need to use everything though. But I do need to figure out. What I do need to figure out is how to get something here. <laughs> you wanna check your meme channel? My meme channel?
All right. <laughs> I don't see how I'm supposed to solve this one yet. Most of these are like kind of pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> Like, because if you do this one, it's just going to hit this little thing over here. work either like because I can do this and now at least block it like if I somehow be able to get the big fish it's a real challenge oh fish 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 and yes I'll hydrate And yes, I can posture check. <laughs> Thanks. Oh no, hand stretching. Okay. I guess I can do that when as I figure out what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay, gotta work tomorrow. Alright. Thank you for the head. <laughs> yes, and I'll posture check and hand stretch. shall now remain as good as I fixed myself so I'm not sitting weirdly well, I'm sitting weirdly now but now I have good posture as I hand stretch because I still can't do it so like because I can put just a normal nut in but I need to get the hazelnut in <laughs> I'm not that beach. Beach, 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 beach. Um. <laughs> because I believe the bridge is break, though. Okay, hold on. Fish. I know. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pick this up. And a roll. Roll. 
All right, we're gonna undo because I thought rolling the things into the water would. My slumber now. All right, no problem. I hope you have a good, good night. Get all the rest. Thanks for dropping by, fancy. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up. Do this. Okay, but how do I get whatever? Skippity doo da, dippity bay. Here's a slice of cheese. Da, da, the cheese did not fit. I hate cheese. <laughs> Boop. Hi, Grim. How are you? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to... Break all the things. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I thought that was going to do. Fish flavored no Rip Whoops Good just sitting down for dinner? Hey do, do. I really man, this one is kind of hard. Okay, we're gonna go back to above and take just one of these. There's kind of only two spots where trees would actually grow. So why would they give us two spots and give us two of these little nuts? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with that. We're gonna go ahead and roll. All right, we got trees in all the places um growing stones i think throwing whatever stones would just go into the water it wouldn't really block anything um i want to say Picking this one up and rolling it so it blocks off that little that is good. Hmm. How could I get a st Okay, so what I'm thinking is that I need to get a stone, um, stuck. Like, um, in this row, like, in between the first log and that tree. No, that won't fucking work. How the fuck do I get this thing out of here? Okay, so I need to somehow block this thing. Is the question. Okay, wait a minute. We're gonna pick this up. I'm gonna roll it so it gets stuck here. And then I'm gonna take this over here and I'm going to I'm gonna roll. 
Oh, we got stuck. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna pick up a nut over here. And then, um, I'm gonna roll so it hits all the way down there. And then I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna roll again. Okay, and then with the final one, pick this up, and I roll. Done. Ah! Okay, that one was a little tricky. Glad I got that done. Ooh, uh, okay. Alright, we got buttons of ice, so we're good on that front. And we're gonna go ahead and follow the path to the left. Well, I think my shoes are filled with mud. It seems that only the village center was constructed on firm soil. Be careful that you don't slip. Maybe the chief slipped somewhere around here? Very likely. Let's give the area a quick once over, shall we? Um, uh, maybe it's the, um, the person in print? <laughs> oh, I wonder where he slipped. Mm hmm. Yep. Nope. Can't be right here. There are three hand coins that we need to see first. Alright, there's one. There's two. A uh, natural bridge formed from a falling tree. What a stroke of luck. I don't know, it just looks safe. I don't think those. This little hole? No. A beagle? Nope. That is something that we need to find. It's wobbly, it's creaking, you know, Luke? It, I think it might just break. I mean, stop antagonizing poor Luke. So, stepped out for a minute. Back now. Yay! I am. Alright. I think it has to be on the ground. Oh, look! A colony of ants! Let's, not, let's take care not to step on them. Man. All right, I know that hands are there. Where is it? Well, I know it's the fucking ants. It's full of holes, you know. You need to be brave to cross this kind of bridge. Where is it? Is it right there? Yep, there it is. Please just open back up recently. Ooh, yay! Sam in the dark patch on the ground. <laughs> I think he fell right here. <laughs> well then. Luke, what do you make of this? <laughs> oh, it's a person print. <laughs> Some hard evidence, right? All right. I wonder how he managed to fall like that. Let's examine the surrounding area. We may come across a few more clues. These roots are quite thick. They aren't very easy to notice. Do you think this is where the chief could have, have tripped? Hmm. You, you don't think so? Ah, Professor. Really? It's one of those really smelly 
Wrathful Scylla? Flowers? Let's not check over there. Unpleasant odors should not hinder one's investigation, my boy. Note that the flower has been trampled on. It has? You suggesting that the chief slipped on those large petals? Have a closer look, Luke. Don't be afraid. Well, if you say so. Huh? That's funny. It doesn't smell at all. Well, there you go. Sometimes nature can be the greatest puzzle of all. But even if it doesn't smell, how come the chief didn't notice a large bright flower? Bodden mentioned that her grandpa only started falling over recently. We should look elsewhere. Perhaps we can gather more information back at the chief's house. Shouldn't we look around a bit more first? A good detective should pursue his case from all possible angles. Let's return to the village. Do -do -do. Follow the path to the right. Enter the chief's house. Okay. You're back. <laughs> Did you find it? The place where Grandpa went squish. We did. Thanks to you, Button. Oh, then, uh, I'm glad I was around. I wouldn't want to miss all of the things. But if you want to know about Grandpa, then why don't you just ask Gran? You silly people. <laughs> we would very much like to. If it's no trouble, where might we find her? Her? Who's that? Oh, you mean Gran. Yeah, she's in the house. Actually, I already asked if Gran if I could at If I could ask you if you could ask Gran to tell you about Grandpa. And what did she say? She said talk more slowly next time. And not to ask weird questions. But I think that meant yes. Alright, new area, so that means... Alright, we got four Hank coins in this one. Is it on the bananas? Yay! Is it this? No! I didn't mean to find a puzzle. <laughs> I wonder what's in this little bag. It looks like it's packed... It's packed to be bursting with acorns. Actually, I know a good puzzle about acorns. Would you like to try it? Wasn't expecting a puzzle. Puzzle number 048, acorn allocation two. Oh, this is the one. Okay. This is the one that I... I was too tired to figure out, so I was like, what am I doing? On their way back to the forest homes, these three squirrels... These three squirrels stopped... Each stopped in some part of the clearing scattered around the woods. When the squirrels pass through the clearing, it takes every acorn it could find, leaving none for the others. The numbers on each of the clearings indicate how many acorns they... Contained. The squirrels set off one by one after after the other one from top to bottom. Okay. When they all get back home, ow, they have all have the same number. Which route did each of them take? Alright. This is actually pretty straightforward. All right, what we do have to do is kind of add everything up. So I know, um, I know what I'm looking for. Okay, so right now this is 15, 7, 12, 11, Ten. 
All right, I'm going to add up these first. There should be 23, there should be 30. Add that together, that will be 40. And then add this together, that would give us, what, 55? Anton! What, what sort of madness, madness is this? <gasps> Maru! Thank you for the sub for six months! Thank you! I hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub badge! How are you? <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> oh, Gucci, yeah! Good to hear! <laughs> oh, that's so nice! I was only able to have a small... I want to say two hour. But it wasn't like an uninterrupted nap. So it was a little sad, but... Okay, um... Okay, we have a total of 55. <laughs> but I, I, like, had a pushback. Like, I had pushed back stream, like, an hour so I can get a little more. It's there it would have just been an hour nap and I would have been way too tired. Uh, we gotta divide this by three. Somehow managed to chill and go to keep the streak going. Open tabs during that period, continue sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I started Duolingo because of you. Or I had restarted it. I had it before, but I had just switched languages. So this time I'm actually learning how to do German. <laughs> I forgot how to do long division. I have, yeah. So it's like slowly but surely I'll be able to actually figure out how to actually do, like, speak my name. See, I was learning Japanese beforehand. German. I'm learning German, TG. Um, I was doing... I was trying to learn Japanese beforehand, but... Um... I had stopped. That was the kind of the reason why I had Duolingo. But... And then I, like, had taken a break, and then I went back to it, and I was like, Oh, shoot, I don't remember anything. Um, okay, so I know 10 times 3 is, um, equals 30. Okay. Okay, what's 20 times 3 equals? That would be 60, right? 2 times 60, yeah. It would be 60. Okay, so that would be too far. So if we minus 3... That'd be... Did I not add right? Because this isn't divisible by 3... See, I thought this would just be easy, that I just didn't need to know how much each of them needed, but... Am I misjudging this puzzle right now? Because 19 would be... 57. And... To get 55 would minus... Two. Shit. Okay. Um. Four. Four. Plus five. Plus three. Plus four. Plus seven. 
seven, five, two, three. Yeah, no, okay, I added right. It would be 55. Divide that by three. Yeah, okay, that's giving me a decimal. I'm curious how this is. Okay, so. That is not going to work, so I can't add up everything and everyone gets everything. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and sign people colors. This person, just because he's yellow, he's going to get yellow. So he currently, since he's going to go first, he's going to get this one. He's going to get a two, he's going to get a three, but he can either get a four or a five. And I'm going to make this person down here get a red. And then I'll make this person down here be blue. Um, okay. I don't think it matters what house that they go into. So I want to say I want to do oops, wrong color. I want to say the yellow guy goes up this, and then we're gonna go to two. Okay, so four plus four is eight. Plus the two would be ten, which means yellow guy. I can barely even see the fucking yellow. Should get 15. Okay, to get 15 for red... Sixteen. Okay. If I did this where I cross over, um, seven plus four would give me eleven. Plus five. Okay. All right. That's what I need to do. Okay. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna erase this, and I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have him go down to this five, up here down and then we're gonna have red go up but since three is already taken can't do that so it's gonna go to the four down since this four is taken can't do anything but up to the five um but okay so it would be Two, three is five, plus five is ten, plus four is fourteen, and then I add the two would be sixteen. I just realized that I'm not the fucking thicker one, but oh well. Okay. And then seven plus four would be eleven. The four is taken, so all that would be left is five, and that should give us sixteen once again. Going over here. Um, six times, or six times, six plus four is ten. Where the fuck does the seven fit in? Because if the seven was taken, then this would all work, but where the fuck am I supposed to get the seven? Well, great. I thought I had it. Now I don't. Now this one has 23. Damn. So close. You get so far.
Um. Okay. All right, we're going to switch back over to red. Okay, let's say you go down, up, and then you would just go up. Does everything need to be taken? Um, squirrels set off one after another from top to bottom, and when they get all get back home they all have the same number of acorns which root did them take okay so i think one is going to be left out but which one Um, okay, what if I have yellow go up here? So it'd be, that would be 10, 4 plus 5 would be 19. Okay, we're going to try to see if we can match 19. Seven plus four is eleven. Oh, hold on a minute. I think I might. Okay. We're going to erase this. I think I'm going to have yellow go down. Okay. And then it would go yellow would go into this house because two plus five or two three and five would make ten seven and two will actually make 19 so that technically would work in that so we're gonna have seven go to four which would give us 11 that five is taken That's gonna give me. Damn it! Because four and five. Would get me 20. Ah! <laughs> um. Damn it, I really thought I had it for a moment. Um, 
Okay, two, three, five would get me ten. I could um, have this equal up to 20, which I would just do this part. Um, would be 10, it would go in here. Because then, um, seven, four would be 11. Yes, more Professor Layden. <laughs> So this puzzle is currently kicking my ass and I need weary past the top of the hour because I'm taking forever doing this puzzle. Um, okay. Seven plus four. 11, the five's taken, so I can't count that. Okay. That will give us up to 20. And then yellow should be 20 as well. So we just need blue. We just need blue to work with us. Okay, six plus, dang it, no, four is taken. No, that's not gonna work. No, it's always the first two. The first two will always work, but then as soon as I get to this bottom guy, okay. So he, you wouldn't even get this four anymore. It would go and it wouldn't count. You would go down to this three, and that would get us what nine, and then going back up here and getting that one, which we'll make this eleven. Damn. All right. Well, we're using a hint. <laughs> uh, the first squirrel picks his acorns from the central clearing on this way. Okay. Well, at least we have kind of figured that out. So. What it means is that it goes here, here, and then it's this one. So this is definitely how it's gonna go. It's more of the fact is the free for all afterwards. So it's either gonna be a four or a seven. Does that really help me? No, because that's kind of where I had it before, so we're gonna go ahead and go to hint two. The second squirrel passes through two clearings which the acorns have already been taken. Okay. So we're going to just go ahead and erase what would be known as just unclear. Well, we at least know that it has to be more than 10 because that's where this guy up here is at currently. Yellow guy over here. He is currently at a 10. And they're saying the second squirrel at least goes through two clearings. So it technically, it could mean that it goes into here. Which means it might do this. And then the yellow might do this. I don't know. Okay. 
but we can add that up and see how that plays out. Um, okay, that would be 10, that would be 19. Yeah, that's not gonna work because the second one, if we add up it, it would be seven, four, which would put us at 11, plus the two would put us at 13, and this one over the yellow is 19. So that won't work. Um. Okay, what if I do... Seven... Okay, it's 19, right? What if I go down through here? So 7 plus 7 is 14, and then you add 3, which would be 14 plus 3 is 17. Okay, and then I change the yellow over to, instead of going up, what if I have it go down and in? That would be five. Four plus two would be sixteen. All right, we're just gonna throw this fucking blue one because I don't know. Well, the only way to get to the top one is just go straight through the fucking middle. Boop. Boop. And doing that would give us 15. Great. All right, third hit because what the fuck? All right, the third squirrel passes through, also passes through two clearings, which the acorns have already been taken from. Technically, all of this matches. It just doesn't have the same number of acorns. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and... Whoop, back to the yellow. We know for sure that... He takes this. Goes down to the three. He takes the three. And he goes straight to this five and takes the five. Right. He either can go straight down, which would put us at twenty five. All right, we're just going to have to quickly math out different things, so we're just going to go ahead and. All right, what do we at? 25. Can I match? Okay. Red. Red does here. Has to pass through two things that are... So... Let's do what? Four... Put us at 11. This would put us at 20. So we're not going to really entertain this one. 
Because I can't even get the seven to boost us. So. Okay, so we didn't go through here. Yeah, okay. So. That alert jump scared me? Okay. Um, okay, so I don't think he went straight down. What if he went, um, down to the seven and up? What was I, 24? Or, like, this would be 24. I don't think that would be much of a change. Yeah, because the highest I had gotten was... 7, 11, 20. So I don't think it's going to be too much of a high number. So I don't think we went through the 7. So we must have went through this 4 up here. Um, so it's either a 5 or a 2. Okay. Let's start with the two. That would make, um... What, 16? And, well, if we went up, it'd be like, what, 19? So we're gonna go ahead and work with the red. Because the red does have to go through at least two. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go down to this four, up through this five, up through here. So we're currently sitting at 11, and if we go up here, we would at least get up to. 16. The thing is about number three over here, sitting at the six. I don't think that would work. Oh, wait, no, actually, I can. Now that I see it, okay, if we go up here, since that 4 is taken and this 5 is taken, if we go straight down through here, we would get 16. Okay. Because I keep forgetting that we can go through multiple clearings. So, if I mark the little things, what they would be taken by... Yay! Okay. I forgot. <laughs> Alright, um... And then it should be... Boop, boop, boop. Okay, going to double check. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. Um, okay, I think I did get it. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Here is my answer. Huzzah! Thank goodness. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Not cracking. Good job by taking these roots home. All the acorn, all the squirrels end up with sixteen acorns. <laughs> the squirrels are certainly picked up plenty of acorns. Are they going to eat them all? I don't know. Maybe they'll share them with some birds or something. 
Uh, all right. Well, um, that puzzle took a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a small break right here, a three minute. Um, so I can quickly go refill my water, go ahead and also refill my fishes because those are running low as well. And we can stop the pre-roll ads. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be right back. So go ahead and get up stretch. Take care of yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are back. <laughs> it took a little extra time because let's go in and pets. All the pets. Right. <gasps> Go 
lovely. Well, now we can go find the last three hint coins of this <laughs> area and move, progress with the story. First, I gotta fix my cheek. Oop. Fish! You want me to eat a fish? Do that once I eat. Sit, 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 sit. Burm, burm, burm. Okay. Okay. Uh, look, are you so big? <laughs> ah, my eye. Okay. All right. Now, time to find those last hand coins. Where the fuck did I look before? I don't even remember. Does this pillar get in the way when people are having a conversation? Maybe. Okay, the one was in the banana. I know, I remember that. Alright, there's a second one. There's the third one. Oh. And Edward Tuck? Okay. Ooh, we got some parrots up here. Ooh, we definitely can look up. Oh, these holes let birds fly in from outside, don't they? And there's the fourth thing coin, so we're all done there. Okay, search for the four hint coins. We found that. Hunt for the golden mask, which is right here. Hunt for the bird box, which is up. Um, just for fun, look at the white chicken. The white- oh my gosh, it is a white chicken! Oh! Oh, all oh, the eggshells! Well... <laughs> the chicken's just like... I'm a bird. I exist up here. <laughs> Check the brown bag. Oh, that was for the um, the puzzle. So we went like a little bit um, early. All right, talk to his wife. I've been expecting you. A little stock tells me you're concerned about my other half's well-being. Given nobody, nobody's giving you in trouble, are they? I swear, the manners of this village went out with the bathwater a long time ago. On the contrary, the hospitality we have been shown is refreshing. Good. It wasn't always sunshine and... Why? Fellow Dendots? You know? Back. But time gets on. Best you head back, I think. Uh, er, we were wondering if you can tell us about your husband's recent behavior first. Oh, that old fossil? He's not the sprightly young thing he thinks he is anymore, but he still reckon, still reckons he can hurt Hunt. Ha! Huh. My other half was half the hunter he... If my other half is the half the hunter he used to be, we would have food on the table before sundown. So you think he's just getting too old? Too old, too senile. Just the other day, he came back from the hunt saying he lost his bow. I mean, how does that happen? Considering how essential it must be when hunting, that's very strange, yes. 
Truth be told, I think he finds it tough to come to terms with old age. I haven't seen him smile for weeks. If I had a truffle for every time he waltz off, I'd be stuffed. But you can pretty much guarantee he'll come barging back through the door while I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. There you go, Layden. I, I remember what's the problem. They're like kind of very like hinting. They're like, hey, this might be a problem. And Layton finally figures it out. I'm just over here like, come on. It's right there in front of your nose. You need a little dance. I see. Miss Morrill, I believe I know the reason why your husband is feeling so miserable. You do? You mean it's not just because he's going crazy? Luke! On the contrary, I believe our dear chief is very much sound of mind. Sound mind. If my theory is correct, there is a good chance that we'll be able to change his attitude. Oh, please. Anything to get him out of that dour mood. Don't worry, Miss Laurel. We'll do everything we can. Please, Miss Laurel... Moral makes me feel old. Just call me. I would rather call you the other thing. Um. Le. Lipidella? Le Lipidella? Ooh. Another puzzle solved, Professor. Not just yet, Emmy. While I may have determined the root of the problem, we have not yet offered a solution. We're going to have to build a special accessory. Are we making some more fun math? Oh, oh! How about a big cat this time, like a cheetah or a leopard? Oh, <laughs> that's not quite what I had in mind, but let's not get into that now. First, I would like to focus on gathering the materials we need. Alright, go ahead and leave the house. Right then, uh, what are we looking for first, Professor? Because, I, to be honest, I don't have the slightest idea. <laughs> You bitch! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> My heart hurt! <laughs> My sanity? I He's turning it into a horror game! <laughs> oh. He does this with all the small games! I like my chill games! <laughs> Hi, Sanity. How are you? You're awake. You're welcome for a wake up call. I'm in the middle of that vlog. I'm not falling asleep. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. Crazy. <laughs> I already read that. <laughs> ah! Nuts. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> At least Caro is in here because uh, Caro keeps making fun of his hair. Anyway, I dropped in to say hi and good night because that will be up. Okay, no problem, Sanity. Thank you for dropping by and I hope you have a good night. Get all the rest. Red ass hair, I know. It's an upside down muffin. <laughs> See, I've always I've been in love with Professor Layden 
since forever. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't play this game until um a few years ago. In like 2020 was the first time I played this one. It was the last one I was missing. So now I'm playing them all in order. <laughs> First, we're going to going to need some thin, smooth, cylind cylindrical uh, things. Cylindrical. Would some twigs do the job? I'm afraid they would need to be a little more ro robust than twigs. Some sort of small but strong rods. Then what else? Some industrial strength glue would be nice for combining parts, but we may struggle to find that here. Indeed, but we may find a suitable substitute yet. Tree resin, perhaps? Some glue, some rods, that shouldn't be too hard. We should be able to find everything we need in the jungle. No need to travel the world to find such simple resource. I forget that we're around the world. I was like, why don't we just pop back to London? I was like, no, that 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 doesn't work. I was like, I from where we landed on the map, I think we're the like US, so like that's quite a few hours. We can't just like, oh yeah, let's go just gonna pop back over to England, like whoop. visit Daro, but <laughs> uh, to travel the world to find resources. So we should focus on looking for these items inside the jungle. Got it. All right. I believe we have some latent journal. The chief's um dictation. A short distance into the jungle, the outline of the outline of the chief was still visible in the mud. It looks though he tripped over a large colorful flower that shouldn't have been difficult to miss. Perhaps he's not looking where he was going? It was only after we talked to Lepidilia, the chief's wife, that I was able to work out what is wrong with him, as well as what, what needs to be done and to restore his sense of humor. Now, it's just a matter of gathering ingredients or materials that, and we should be all set. Um, a spot of foraging is in order. The first thing we need in order to bring laughter back to the chief's life is, is supply a smooth but sturdy sticks. Well, something of the sort. We also need a glue like. This whatever a substance in a jungle like this it shouldn't be e it should be easy enough to find some sap that would do the trick it would also be best to find materials in the in the village after all we should should the tools ever break the villagers will need to repair the materials that lie that lie close by <laughs> anyone figure it out <laughs> all right the butterfly wings fluttered gently, deceiving the eyes of any onlooker. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to the right. We gotta go look at the snail. Aw, it's a snail! Luke, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. That snail produces an extremely dangerous liquid. I am really quite astonished to find the, the species in such a humid climate. It, it, is it poisonous? No, not poisonous. However, one touch may still be enough to incapacitate. I can know this word, but... Yep. You, right, Professor? Exactly so. You see, this snail secretes an extremely potent glue, and it is potentially stronger than super glue, in fact. Oh, 
I'm glad I didn't touch it then. Ooh. We have to be we have to be ex especially careful when handling it. Let's see if we can get some of it in this jar. We got snail glue. Snail glue acquired. That looks really sticky. Now let's see if we can find some rocks. Um, walk to the left. Follow the path to the left. Talk to Amanita. Oh, hello, Amanita. Oh, uh, what are you carrying? Oh, I'm just grabbing, gathering some bullfrog bones for some milk cap rock. You know how it is. Oh, um, that sounds tasty. Hi, Fred. How are you? Excuse me, Manita. Uh, would it be, would it inconvenience you much if we were able to take a few of those bones? Good. And you? Doing good. Got a nap in, so I'll be able to stream a bit longer. If you're offering to carry the basket, take as many as you like. Are you making milk cap broth too? Actually, we have we may have a slightly different use for them. We should be we should return the ones we don't use. Bull frog bones acquired. Professor Layden, yep, Professor Layden. Oh, you're an angel. Don't don't be too long about it though. I need them for dinner. Yeah, do we really have to use these bones, Professor? Given the circumstance, we have no better alternative. Besides, I think they should be quite adequate. Really? But they're all sorts of shapes and sizes. Indeed they are. Well, the rods and the glue are both accounted for, which means we are nearly done. What else do we need? The last component for our accessory needs to be something translucent, something that allows light to pass through. Translucent, like ice? A prime example, Aurora, but ice would be unsuitable in this sweltering climate. We must, it must also be able to withstand being cut. Doesn't sound like it would be easy thing to come across. No, I don't expect to find such a resource just lying on the floor. Perhaps people of Fungi would be able to help. Ah, someone's coming. I'm assuming that we talked to Button. Yep. You got a puzzle. Mr. Longhead! Button, why are you soaking wet? Oh yeah, that's okay. I decided not, not to catch a cold this time. I decided not to catch a cold this time. She's like, Psh. I just told the germs to go away. Go away. I don't feel like getting sick this time. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Button. Uh, that's good to hear, but make sure you dry off when you get home. Button, might I ask what you have there? Oh, this? Wow, is that a crystal? Wait, isn't this exactly what we're looking for, Professor? As fortune would have it, yes, I believe it is. Button, may we use that crystal? No! This is my treasure! You cannot have it! Oh, ho And rightly so. If anyone tries to steal your treasure, throw a puzzle at them! 
and see what happens. That's what mom said. I'm all right. We have been thrown, a puzzle has been thrown at her face. Puzzle number 049, Fussy Fruit Eaters. Three, these three bossy children would like you to pick fruit for them. A, I want, I want all my fruits to be the same color. And I want to have one more piece than C. B, I want fruit from a tree that isn't on the edge and it better not be blue see i want a fruit from the tree that's next to the one b gets her fruit from and i want one more piece than her and all of my fruit has to be the same color if you satisfy the demands perhaps they'll be quiet for a while so get picking that fruit Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just put that up behind me. Okay, um... A wants fruit to be, all the fruit to be the same color and wants one more piece than C. Okay. So essentially we gotta wait until we do C. C wants fruit from the tree next to B. The one that B gets the fruit from. I want one more piece than her. All my fruit has to be the same color. B, I want fruit from the tree that isn't in on the edge. So that would not be yellow and that would not be orange. And it better not be blue. So it would be green. Um, which I would give C, um, the blue one, because it is next to, okay, it is next to B, and, uh, they want one more piece more, so that would, um, be the blue tree. Um, so A, I want all my fruit to be the same color. I want to have one more piece than C. So I'm assuming that would be this yellow one right here. <laughs> they all have their little fruit. Okay, so I think that's, um, I think that's it. I'm gonna double check. And, yep. Here's my answer. Puzzle! <laughs> Critical thinking is the key to success. Totally tropical. You can set satisfied all the children's demands if you give three pieces of yellow fruit to A, one piece of green fruit to B, and two pieces of blue fruit to C. Oh, we got glamorous heels. Ooh. Hmm. I'm still not giving you my treasure, but I'll tell you where I found it. I went over the really wobbly and really dangerous bridge. A bridge? Like, the tree bridge here? <laughs> oh, I mean, yes, like this one, but not this one. And you'll never find it. She's not very good at lying. All right, we have a latent journal. We need one last material. We already have collected some fine material, some bullfrog bones, a snail slime, and the final component we need is some kind of translucent stone. Button has informed us crystal of crystals that should be perfect, and we shall set out to locate them. We have to cross a rather treacherous bridge in order to get where they're from, we must be careful not to shake it, for Luke's sake. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> if you want to go ahead and look at the story, go ahead instead of going wrong. Okay, we're currently going to go do some quick puzzles. To the right, right. Good night, good night, TG. Get all the rest. Thank you for dropping by. Bye. I've been wondering, love. Why do you, do you need a hat that tall over your head? Uh, this this headpiece is something very dear to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I bet it is. The thing must have cost a fortune. See, we're all about practi practicality here. So that hairstyle you all have is, say, to protect you from the rain? The rain? Oh, if that was only, if it was only just the rain, it's for defending ourselves against wild animals. There's always these, there's always furry fellows out in the trees. Okay. Puzzle number 050, Forest Friends. On his way home through the forest, the boy finds himself lost. Luckily, he bumps into eight forest animals who tell him which way to go in exchange for apples. The mouse guides him one square closer to home, the rabbit two squares closer, the fox three squares, the bear four squares. He never meets two animals of the same type in a row. And there's no animals on the squares containing bare trees. Where does he bump into each animal? Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and kind of work our way from the back. Okay. Which... Okay, foxes are three. So one, two, three. Um. And the mouse was one. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, but he says he doesn't meet. the same one in a row. Okay, so I'm gonna say that's a rabbit. One, two. I wanna say, I wanna put the bear here. Um, and then I'll put a fox here. Oh, but that's not gonna work. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I think this is it. Hmm. He's getting all the apples. All the apples are gone because I had filled out everything. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check our work. Okay, mouse, fox, rabbit, fox, bear, fox, rabbit, fox. All right, yep. 
So that should be it. Want an answer? How's this? Buzzle! Piece of cake. Tremendous. He may have made it out of the forest, but he doesn't have any apples left. Rip. Oh, we got a sunflower jacket. Oh, you should have seen them when they were coming at you. Tusk gleaming in the twilight. My hair was saved me many of times. Why not pit your hair against Professor's hat and uh, no holds barrel, barrel duel? Emmy, I strongly discourage this idea. I generally prefer to avoid activities that may lead to damaging my hat. Yes, Emmy, leave his hat alone. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and go down. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and talk to her. There you are, Piggy Tails. I've been looking for you. Sycamore. Shouldn't you be watching the fire, Amadita? Oh, it's sweet of you to worry, love. But I got all in control. Miss Mithil will be taking over for me in a mo. Good to know. So you were saying you were looking for me? Well, I feel bad at laughing at you before, so I... So I thought i make it up to you. I saw this and thought of you straight away. You see, do tell me if it's too much of a bore. Ha 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 ha. Because this puzzle is puzzle number 051. Baby boar racing. Um, five baby boars were about to take part in a race, but they, but they won't be able to get started until you line them all up in the correct traps, as indicated by the numbers on their back. Use a special separated pen to move the boars around two at a time and line them up for the race. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I see what it is. Which ones are different now? Oh, it won't go. Okay, um... Okay, so I need to at least put a boar in. Just go ahead and restart because I don't think that's how that was supposed to go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Hmm.
See, I want to do that. Well, um, I was able to get it all in a row, but... Up oh, there we go. Allow me to demonstrate. Huzzah! <laughs> a truly elegant puzzle. Well done. The baby boar race can go ahead, and it's all thanks to you. Ooh, we got a new boom blast. That was enjoyably taxing. Thank you, Amadita. Good line. Just like those heavenly ringlets. Uh, Amadita, what are you doing with the puzzle exactly? Well, you see, I find uh, that using some essence of the puzzles and cooking gives you just a little je ne sais quoi. Uh, a C. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and do our bloom bath. A uh, tropical turf, an oasis on a calm built as an oil magnate, man made paradise. Okay. Does that, that. Okay, um, that works. That works. See, I'm missing right in between. Kind of like, ooh. Actually, I kind of want to switch these. That will set that off. That will set that one off. We'll set this off. That's covered. That's covered. That's covered. That's covered. That's covered. That's 
That's covered. Okay, I think. I guess I forgot to count for that. Oop. I think I figured out the top part. It's this bottom part. How am I going to get this one to activate it? Alright, can I do it that way? Will that work? We got flowers. Full bloom. Yep. All right. My other computer needs to be plugged in. Here we go. Phew. We crossed that. That wasn't so bad. Says the boy who wouldn't let go of the professor's hand. I don't want to let go of his hand. Um, only because someone kept shaking the bridge by stomping their way across. Could see you two are getting along as usual. Now, I believe that we have to step through the waterfall. What, really? Through it? I think I prefer not to step under the torrent of cold water, Professor. Hard to... I'm hardly keen on being soaked myself, but I believe the path continues on the other side. And considering the state of Button's drenched clothes, I suspect the crystals we seek are beyond the waterfall. Such a precious child. She wasn't particularly good at keeping her secret. I don't think my hat's very water resistant, Professor. Couldn't we just find some way to shelter ourselves first? I fear my own hat is not impervious to the elements e either. We shall just try to dry them off afterwards. I don't like the sound of that at all. Can't you do something about it, Emmy? Come on, Luke. It's just a bit of water. But, alright. How can I say no when you're giving those puppy dog eyes? Alright, we got three hand coins that we are looking for. Um... We got a magic bean! Bean! Uh, the hummingbird. And bush over there is a puzzle. Um, I believe, yes. Okay, we're looking for three hand coins. Alright, there's one. Uh, 
there's two. And there's three. And now we gotta look. Look, Professor, someone went and hit a puzzle here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> puzzle number 052, an epic quest. This brave young man's village is being attacked by a powerful and evil king. As anyone who knows the great, great legends will be able to tell you, there's always a sword bearing an incredible power lacked locked in a chest hidden deep within the forest. Unfortunately, the path um, through the forest is bewitched. And it's up to you to rearrange it so the young man can save the day. First of all, create a path that will take him to the key. And create another path that, that will take him to the chest where the sword is. Uh, Eustace. Alright, um... Alright, do, 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 do. So far, these are just pretty much Uh, I just realized I put a fucking uh, that piece over there. Mm -hmm. I used to do all these these types of puzzles all the time. Where it's like, oh, you had to kind of just swipe things through to get it to the place that you wanted to go. Speaking of which, I need to get that one in front. I got the wrong one in front. Go get the key. Thank you. Go get it. You got the key. Oops. Now he's got the key. Now I need to have him go whatever. I just realized, shoot, I needed this one to be in front. Mm. 
Okay, there we go. There we go. This was quite the conundrum. Huzzah! <laughs> okay, that one was pretty there we easy. Have it. Thank goodness that some of these are just like we. You legend! The young man got his hands on the magic sword. He can, if he can master it, he surely, surely bust the evil king and become the hero of his village. Truly, the most divertently puzzled. Divertently puzzled. Uh, look at is that is that a rock lodged up there? It looks rather unstable. Let's refrain from walking underneath it. I'll handle this, Professor. Step back, everyone. This will only take a jiffy. She's scrambling right up the cliff. She's a monkey. With remarkable speed, too. She's barely pausing between finding footholds. I can't even see what she's holding on to. Uh, she reached the top without a hitch. Impressive. Hey! You might want to step back a bit. Further in case the water sprays. Well, we just rerouted the river or the whatever water. He's a cave. Wow, you saw the whole waterfall. The cave that was the the cave that was blocking it must have been in the way, though. The cave it was blocking must have been must be the way through that we're looking for. Thanks very much, Emmy. Anytime, Luke. And what else is the professor's assistant for? Let's see where the cave leads us. It's very dark, so watch where you tread. Go ahead and enter. We are looking for three hints. Mm -hmm. Ha! Ah, it's lovely and cool inside. The rock formations, so curious yet so beautiful. Nature holds many wonders. A natural, a natural limestone grotto. Let's look around and see if we can find any crystals like the one Button treasures treasures so much. Okay. Um, okay. So we have bats over here. We found bats. We found BB frogs. Okay. Well, now we're gonna start searching for the hand coins because I was double checking that I would not click on um stuff when I am looking for the hand coins. Come on. I think that one of them would be in the mushroom, but... Huh. Is it up, then? Are they in, like, these little things over here? Oh yeah, let's find the hand coins, everyone. Where the fuck are they, though? <laughs> nope, not that. Not that. I think it would be at one of the. Huh. All right, there's one. Th 
There's two. Oh, and they're gone. I think I could see something sparkling up there. I believe, I'm pretty sure it's not a stalagite. It could be the crystals that we're looking for up there. Fascinating. They only form on this one particular area of the cave. But how are we going to go? How are we going to go? How are we going to get all the way up there? Hmm? Oh no. Is this my fault? Did I do something when I knocked that boulder over before? The pillar! It's shaking! Okay, we got two. Everyone stand back. I'm going to attempt to dislodge the pillar. What? Professor, be careful! If I examine the kill pillar carefully, we should be able to find a way to make it top lower almost effortlessly. <laughs> it landed on my nose. Still looking for the one end coin. So, like, seriously, where the fuck is it? For me, as I shake the fucking screen. It's not this, is it? Yes, yes, I know. But I'm looking for hand coins, Layton. There it is. Okay, there's the last one. Alright, we got the baby frogs. We got the bats. We looked at the blue crystal. Now we get to look at the... Um... Pillar. If I just remove the stone... Alright, um... We're also gonna go take our break in a little bit after this because we are at the top of the hour. And there that goes. Oop. I think I'll leave it there. And then we'll just go BRB. Alright. Well, I'll be back in three minutes. And I'll see you guys then. Oop. Mm. <laughs> Alright, back soon.
Okay. I'm back. <laughs> All right, continuing on because I figured it was best for me to get the free rolls out of the way before we continued because I don't know how much more the dialogue was going to go. So I'd rather get that out of the way so we have no interruption. <laughs> Well, that was exhilarating. Is everyone okay? All right. Yes, but wow, that was scary. I didn't expect the whole pillar to come down so easily. Depending on the size, it was supported by the smallest counterbalance. Well, now that we made a path, let's select a few crystals to take back, shall we? Crystal. With these, we'll have everything we need to make our special accessory. We've worked hard, and I believe our efforts will not be in vain. Glittering crystal acquired. It just goes to show you how resourceful people can be when they really want to. So, now will you tell us what kind of mask you're planning to make? You'll see soon enough, Emmy. Let's return to the village and restore the chief to his former devile self. Alright. It says we have a latent journal among the Salagites. Following Button's direction took us on a rather dangerous path. After crossing the curious bridge, Emmy scaled a cliff alongside the waterfall before kicking a boulder onto the stream, blocking the water, the flow of water. Only then were we able to enter the cave containing the crystals. It was far from easy, but we finally have the last material that we need. Luke and Emmy are still curious about the plan I, what I plan to make. Let's hurry back to the grand stage and, uh, prepare and prepare to get the chief laughing again. All right, um, and what we got was a magic bean. Rumor has it these beans will grow into a sprawling plant in the sp space of a night. No thanks, I'd rather not deal with some giants. All right, we're going to go ahead and zoom out and leave the cave. <laughs> hey, how's the honeymoon? Oh, you are the person I- Okay, you are the person. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Amelie. Don't tell me this is one of your destinations for the honeymoon tour. Well, you know how it is. Hubby loves these sort of exotic locations. They really bring out the explorer in him. Speaking of which, this puzzle seems to be driving our compass hairwire. I don't suppose you could have a look. Puzzle number 053, the domino effect. This cluster, er, this cluster, this area contains a cluster of legendary ancient stones. The research of one of famous, research of one famous archaeologist uh, suggests these stones were once used for fortune telling. If someone would manage to topple all the stones by pushing them just, uh, just one of them, it would guarantee healthy crops for a year. Hearing this legend, a farmer decided to give it a go. This uh, photograph was taken immediately before he selected a stone. Circle the right stone to push over. Use your stylus to use Circle a stone. Hmm. 
The problem is, is, um, over here, is these little guys over here. Um, so you could do this one. And, but it would, it would only, like, kind of, it would go this direction, which would only affect this one right here. Um, but it would push that one outward. So it's like, how do we get these? Because it could be this one if you manage, but like by pushing it, it might just go this way. And we need to be able to be able to hit all these. Well, it kind of makes sense, uh, I guess. It might be this one. I'm going to go ahead and read the first hint. Start by picking a stone at random and imagine what would happen if you pushed it over. If the trail topples get stopped by another stone at some point, try seeing what would happen if you start pushing a stone that halted your progress. That's right. You need to do a lot of visualization to solve this puzzle. Yeah, so if we push this one, it's going to go and it would hit this one. Which wouldn't really work. So that's why I kind of think it's this one, because there's a possibility if you push it that it might... Hmm. We're just going to read the second one. You now doubt visual a few ways the stones will fall, depending on which ones push, and come across a problem. The three stones facing the center. Not only will they not knock any other stones over, their position will make it difficult knocking all of them over. Unless, is there another stone that would guarantee toppling these three stones over and all the rest? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? There's a stone back there. There's a huge ass stone. <laughs> ah, these bitches. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's that. Circle the huge stone in the top right. Yep. Okay, Emmy. <laughs> time to shine. Buzzle! Bring on the next one. A bummer harvest for Hugh. Pushing over the giant rock at the top right guarantees the toppling arm all over. Looks like it's going to be a good year, but you like had severely damaged all the rest of them. I guess not that he cares. He's just like, I gotta get my good harvest. Well, would you believe it? The moment you solve the puzzle, the needle springs straight back into its original position. I know puzzles are supposed to make your head spin, but this is ridiculous. Chief Moral doesn't seem to be smiling. Are you ready, Luke? Follow my lead. Okay, Professor. Moral? Who is this then? Hello again, Mr. Moral. If you remember us, we came to visit you earlier. Never seen you in my life. Are you sure this is going to work, Professor? Can't say for certain, but until we actually try. Sir, suffice to say, though, I have a good feeling about this. Those Mad Hatters again, persistent as Ivy. What are they up to this time? Whatever it is, it's bound to be better than your last idea. I mean, really, 
mustaches aren't meant to do that sort of thing. If I could have your attention, please. Is there anyone in the village who's especially good at polishing? Polishing? Look no further, love. If there's anything, any piece of silverware I can't shine, it predates history. Very promising. I and have we also in our midst anyone who's accustomed to chopping wood? Well, I can't chop wood. Uh, but I'm not bad chopping vegetables. Is that good enough? Certainly. Precise cutting actions is what will be used to... You will be used to exactly what we need. And finally, we'll require someone capable of handling this glue. Ah! That's from the glutinous mix. You're... You get... Best give that to me before someone gets too attached to it. Wonderful. That should, uh, that I sh should find volunteers to quickly reflect on how deeply you care about your chief. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Professor, why not let the boy be in charge of organizing the materials? Aw, organizing? But I have to make the mask. Well... Given the complexity of the task, I had thought we would take care of it, Professor, but I suppose we can let him try. What? Is it really gonna is it really gonna be that difficult? Absolutely, see for yourself. Whoa! There are so many pieces. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay, you can kind of see what's behind me. Some of the objects we gather are sadly too flimsy for construction. So you see, Luke, by, this is by no means a simple task. Right. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm sure where to start. We should only need three items. Try choosing the objects that are easy for each volunteer to handle. Hmm, okay. How about this? An interesting choice. Are you happy about that? We can make something that looks really silly out of this. Hmm, let's see. At a glance, I would say one of these items will be suitable. Yeah, okay, I figured that one out. I agree. However, I imagine our volunteers would be somewhat baffled by the other two choices. How might they handle them? Consider it carefully which two items you could substitute. Right. I'll give it another go. Hmm. I'm like trying to think there's like a few of these things that I'm like, eh, it might be this. Uh, that's the spirit. Just keep trying until you get it right. Leave it to me. Solve the puzzle. Choose three items to assign to the village volunteers. Okay, there. So you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so this one should be polished. I feel like it should be this one. But he said it wouldn't be this one that he would cut. So we would need at least two of these. Unless it's like another bone.
it's another bone. I was wondering if they're gonna give me hints, but no. So what I did think about it, like I thought maybe it would possibly would be this bone or this one, but it is this one. That's right. Uh, there you go. You signed each of item to an appropriate person. Job well done. Oh, really? Great. So we can get around, get around to making the mask now. <coughs> Indeed, we can. I'll explain quickly. I'll quickly explain how to construct this mask. I wonder how it'll turn out. Puzzle solved. Puzzle. way you ask, but what now? Here you go. As, poli as promised, polished to perfection. Don't say that Chantarella ever let you down. Hold on. Is this what I think this is? I believe we're done. Chief Moral, if you just like the places on your head, What? What is this all about? Chief Moral, can you see us? What in the world? What's wrong with your- Oh! <laughs> your bear look- The bear in you look is ridiculous! He- he- he's laughing! The chief's laughing? You gotta be kid joking! Oh, I never. Who would have thought the gloomy so-and-so just needed a pair of glasses? We must have been so blind not to see it. So none of the villagers caught on to the chief's blindness? When did you work it out, Professor? Do you recall how the chief reacted to Professor Sycamore? What happened? Uh, what happened again? He was really surprised by something, right? There was a significant difference between our performance and the one by Professor Sycamore. Yours required a, a viewer, mine, mine a listener. Naturally, the chief didn't react to your performance because he couldn't see it. So that explains why he didn't see the ref refizella? flower? Exactly. Which would be the most plausible explanation for his falling in the mud. Oh, of course! It didn't smell of anything, so you wouldn't notice unless you were looking at the ground. But if that's the case, how does he even manage to get around the village? Chief Morrell is likely reliant on his ex excellent sense of smell. A potent smell of Manita's concoctions and Miss Morrill's home-cooked meals would have aided him in a sense of direction. Oh, so he's just following his nose wherever he goes. Oh god, he's like Luffy when he smells food. Hey! The deadpan chief. The fungi chief turned out to be a cheerful fellow who loved nothing more than to chuckle at silly faces. His only problem was his poor eyesight preventing him from even noticing the villagers' comedic performance. It appears that the people of Fongi uh, had not considered the possibility that a chief's eyesight could have been deteriorating. What are you all doing here? Did you all come for a rain or something? I don't know what your outsiders have done, but now I'm looking at a lot of you completely bonk from me. I'm glad that we were able to bring a smile to your face, Chief. 
<laughs> Your face is all stretched out. And look at you with that enormous nose. It appears the lenses of our makeshift glasses provided a chief with a slightly distorted view of the world. Uh, before I forget, didn't you say something about wanting this egg key thing? Egg required! We finally got our first egg! Uh, would you allow us to take it, sir? Well, normally, no. I've, I've been born out of my, my skull for ages. My back's been giving me grief, and my wife's always nagging. I thought this festival might lighten up a bit, but no. We all had a slew of terrible acting verge on invisible. But you changed all of that, and I wouldn't be I wouldn't be needing this eggy thing to console me anymore. You're most kind, Chief Moral. We will not forget your generosity. Now, all of this talk of eggs makes me hungry. I'm gonna go home to make some French toast. Um Excuse me, you can't just walk off without saying a word to us, Chief. Why not? The festival's been going on for days. It's over now, isn't it? It's hardly been much of a festival. We've been working our backsides off trying to get you to cheer up. I expect you at least you to at least sort out a little fun for us now. Oh, well, you could say that earlier, you silly toads. And here I was thinking we were done. All right, let's put the fong back into fongi. Unfortunately, I don't think we have time to save for the festivities. Give my thanks to the villagers for all their efforts. Oh, <laughs> all so soon. Well, you're welcome back anytime. After all, you've opened my eyes to the people all around me. <laughs> well, we have finally gotten our first egg. We're gonna go ahead and read our journal. The chief is back to his old self. With the help of some villagers, we are able to make a wonderful pair of spindles for the chief. The reason he hadn't been laughing was because he couldn't see a thing. As soon as the chief put on the glasses and saw us, he burst into a fit of laughter. While Luke put on his best efforts to look as funny as possible, it was likely wasn't all necessary. The chief was delighted with what we have done. Um, and handed over the egg. Let's take it back to the Bostononius and proceed to our next destination. Right, go ahead and walk down. Into the airship. Welcome back, sirs and madams. I trust your expedition was a blinding success? It was, thank you. In fact, the Fungi chief's generosity was quite astounding. He graciously offered us his egg. We even saw a whole new side of Luke and the professor, truly, Raymond. It was a pity you weren't there to witness it. You needn't concern yourself on my behalf. Just like his mother, this young book only aspires to serve and to serve well. What was that? <laughs> I find that there's no greater pleasure than seeing my master w with a more whimsical side. Raymond, how- Ladies and gentlemen, the preparations for our departure are complete. When you wish to leave, simply say the word. Now that he's heard it, I have to come up with a new joke. Ah, uh, Eli was listening. <laughs> professor, Professor, her Professor Layton, Professor Sycamore. I think my memory may be returning. Ah, uh, are you able to recall something now? Yes, I can see an arid desert here. This entire land used to be a gaping void. The Azran turned into a vibrant oasis, and that's what the egg is telling me. You mean the Azran brought this entire jungle into existence? 
So it seems. The rest of my memory is a bit... is still a haze. It's truly astound astounding to discover that Azran had such an impact on modern day, on life itself. Indeed. Well then, shall we set off? And off we go! Alright, we got 30 more minutes of free to things. So we're gonna go ahead and save our progress. No, <laughs> oh, look at all the little things. Alright, we got new articles added to the World Times. We also have a new episode. So we're going to look at our World Times. We have the bog bird sa saved my life. An explorer who went missing in the jungle was found alive and well. Apparently he was able to follow an unusual bird call to a hidden village. Mushrooms on the move! A huge new mushroom has been discovered in the jungle. Oddly, it seems that this fungal can move rather rapidly, and no one has no desire to be caught. The moral of the new mosaic. A museum ex expedition of a m exhibit uh, of a mural from all over the world is providing a roaring success and many people have been inspired to try their hand at wall art. Aircraft lured to their doom. Lake Cod has seen a string of aircraft crashes lately and their pol the police are grateful to the efforts of one local resident in her rescue activities. Alright, going to go ahead and we're going to do episode for um nice and comfy uh loger has been sent back to fungi on orders of his boss but will the people of his home village work out who he is i don't know who this is but okay oh He's, he's part of Targent? Well, this is a bit of shock. I never say said anything about contact my, in my anything in my contract about coming home again. Better make sure none of the locals spot me. Ah, it's Auntie Anne. Doo dee doo. There's nothing like a truffle hunt the first thing in the morning. Oh, hello! What's that funny outfit you're wearing? Is that last year's style? Oh, it is? How embarrassing! Well, listen, I'm a busy man, so I'd be moving along now. Oh, hang on. I know you. No, you don't! You really don't! Oh, yes, I do! You're Shaz... Shaz's eldest son. Poor Cindy? We thought you ran away for good. Shh. All right. All right. Just keep it down. <laughs> Nothing gets past me. What's going on then? Go on. You can tell me. I promise I won't say a word to your mom. Well, I got a job and it's a pretty tough one. And my boss wants some sort of blue egg with a kind of swirly pattern on it. But it's strictly confidential and I'm not even supposed to be saying that out loud. Aha! It sounds like he's after a cerulean blabl blabler egg. There's a clutch of them down by the waterfall if you're interested. Really? That's brilliant. Thank you, Auntie. The boss is really going to be pleased with me when I go back with it. Oh, this poor dude. This poor dude. Listen, I, I can see you got a lot on your plate, horsey. You just let me know if I can eat any of it, alright? Horsey. I don't remember any answering to that name anymore. My name is Flover. So it's true what they say about leaving the village and coming back as a different person. Maybe it's time I look for a, 
the time I took a little trip for myself. She's not. Uh, she's gonna be freed. We freed her. I know we're gonna get all the eggs. Do, 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 do. All right, we're gonna fly to the island. So we're gonna start our new thing. Look up to the destination. To the island we go. An island that receives more than its fair share of sunshine. It's always full of tourists who look to who look to enjoy seafood and water sports. A sun tropical sun-kissed island. Whee! <laughs> According to the Azran Dome, we should find an egg somewhere in this area. There is more than the aura stone here. I sense a great power and it feels dis distant somehow. Hmm, this island's really tiny. What if the egg is not on the island at all and rather in depths of the ocean? Let's not draw a premature conclusion. Whoever there is to find here, our investigation must begin on the land. <laughs> Yay! Paris. Message in a bottle. Grab it. Grab it. This island is breathtaking. It's like it's popped straight out of a postcard. Yes, no doubt Emmy will be reaching for her camera at every opportunity here. The ocean goes on forever. If it makes me feel small, but at the same time, it's full. Isn't that strange? This is a new experience for you, Aurora. I don't recall, so yes, it may well be. You should go swimming, really, it's a lot of fun. Perhaps we ought to purchase some swimwear while we are here. I wonder if they make a top hat swimming. <laughs> anyway, the man over there looks like he is from around here, Professor. Let's see if he knows anything about the egg. All right, we got a latent journal. So we had finished the chief. Or the little mushroom. Anton! <gasps> what, what sort, sort of madness, madness is this? Oh my god, he's so fucking cute! Caro, no, you're cute! Thank you for getting stabbing. Ignore that fumble in the beginning. For 18 months! I've grown an 18 month streak! Look at you, and I hope you enjoy your emotes. It's not bad. <gasps> you're on the yellow! Look at it! You have a yellow! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We just finished the mushroom place, so we're now on a tropical island. A beachside resort. After crossing a glimming blue sea, the Bostonians arrived at a tropical island with an atmosphere so friendly that even the palm trees seemed to greet us. This doesn't immediately strike me as somewhere that would be connected to the Azran, but perhaps there is more to this place than meets the eye. Professor Sycamore is concerned that the egg may be hidden in offshores or under an underwater ruin. But for now, we should focus on speaking with the locals. They seem they may be able to point us in the right direction. Just got back from meeting up with Ockery. What goes Layton? It's good. How is Ockery? <laughs> Layton's going pretty good. We got stuck on a puzzle for a good while because it was whack. But other than that, we're going pretty good. I'll probably only be on for at least 20 more minutes, but we will see. Uh, Sangoro is a popular exploring Sangoro. 
is a popular resort with a good reason I almost regretted not springing my swimwear. But we aren't here to enjoy the beach. On another note, it appears this is the first time Aurora has seen the sea. I had better warn her that the water is salty. <laughs> first, we need to go. We need to do is go around town and make inquiries about the egg. Perhaps the man standing right at, right at the water's edge should be our starting point. All right, we got four Hank coins. Akari's super cute IRL. <gasps> Adorable. <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. Kind of fit coral. <laughs> Alright, we got coconut. What walls? Damn, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, a straw hat. Luffy! Oh, okay, there's one. Uh, we got three more. Damn it. All right, there's two. Damn, I was kind of hoping that was it, but it wasn't. There's three. And there's four. All right. We got the counterfeit coral, we got the hermit crab, we got the straw hat, and talk to you, Javier. Stretch! One, two, three, hold! One, two, three. Excuse me, sir. We're wondering if you could help us with something. <coughs> hey, hola, ciao, Javier at your service. Did I hear you were looking to go on an adventure of a lifetime? No, no, you did not. We're looking for an egg-shaped object with engravings. You wouldn't have to have seen one, would you? Oh, you mean, uh, Popono? No. Sure, just head up to... Sure, just head up to the market. They got what you want up there. Uh, Popono? Popono? Great. This investigation might be over sooner than we thought. <laughs> I mean... Emmy, this is Professor Lane game. It doesn't, it's not that. Race you to the market, Luke. All right, go ahead and mock up. Let's go find an egg. Which one's the fucking real one? There's so many colors. What's going on here? There are millions of them. Hmm. Well, time to go through all of them. It would. It seemed we were too quick to assume that there would be one. Popon yo. Good luck, Popon yo's. Strawberry flan, Popo Yon's. Popo Yon surprise. There's just so many. Can you tell which one's the real one, Aura? I'm sorry. I can sense that there's an Aura stone here, but I can't tell the exact location. Hi, Lynx. How are you? How could there be? 
could be so many! It can't be a coincidence that the souvenirs with such striking similarity to the Azran egg found their way into the tourist industry. I'm curious as to the origin word of the Poponios. Perhaps the people here can enlighten us. Oh yeah, just blocked up. Probably great. Yeah! Uh, Papa Young's, uh, happy tradition. The shops and the market stalls of San Goro are full of items called Papa Young's, uh, that bear an uncannily re resemblance to the Azran egg. Everyone on the island seemed to be fond of the Papa Young's. But what is the real story behind them? All of these items show a surprising degree of craftsmanship. Indeed, we may have trouble telling them apart from the real thing. Well. We have a journal entry, but... Oh, man. We're gonna have to go through all of these. Eggs in the Popa Young. A surprising scene awaits us at the market. Stalls upon stalls, each stocked with the brim of product representing the Azran eggs. Some of these products are edible and others are merely ornaments. But there is one for almost every conceivable purpose. Here in Sangoro, these items are affectionately known as popoños. Aurora is certain that she has sensed the presence of the Azran egg here on the island, but it will be difficult to find it among these replicas. All right, we are in the collection, the counterfeit coral. Soon to be denounced by any expert, this appears flawless to the untrained eye. Do -do. Uh, we have five pink coins here. Great. All right, there's one. I was hoping that would be one. Two. Two. It's curried flavored. Stock up while you can. Look, cheese flavored. Ew. Uh, this one is full of rice and strawberries. Necklaces, key rings, you name it. They got a. You can get a Nagi version. Some of these things really do look like the real thing. Impossible to avert one's eyes from a gaudy display. Oop. Well, we found a golden crown. So I slowly inspect everything. Okay. There. Currently, we have three hand coins. There's the fourth one. And number five. Alright, we found the thing, and then we just have to look at the sailboat for a puzzle. Isn't it odd how they squeeze so many boats into a narrow waterway? We got boats in my hometown as well, Aurora. That's where I learned this cracking boat puzzle. Would you like to give it a try? Puzzle number 054. A trio of trouble. Papa yells. <laughs> A set of triplets who are friends of yours invited you to join them for a day of boating on the lake. The three of them are identical, so you thought you would be able to spot them right away. But there's there's one you can't find. He must be hiding on one of the boats, but which one? Take the boat 
Take three boats that contain the triplets. Okay, so I think the obvious ones are two and three. Um, but now I need to find the third triplet. Um, Oh, it's probably about six. Okay, so if you can see, um, boat one, you can see the whole number. Boat two, you can't see the whole number because there's obviously there's two people in the boat. Three, you can see the number. Four, you can see the number. Five, you can see the number. But six, you cannot see the number fully. So it would be boat six because that would indicate that there are two people in the boat. Two, three, and six. Two, three, and six. I'm fairly sure about this. Buzzle! <laughs> oh, I did it! That's right. Your friends are in boats two, three, and six. The little rascal in number six was hiding at the bottom of the boat. Uh, looking at how low the boat is in the water, it's obvious it, it contained two people. boats reminds me of cod and <laughs> the little shit <laughs> and how we had to hop from boat to boat across that lake to get away from Tarjan. that was pretty intense wasn't it yes it was i think once everything has calmed down i would like to ro ride a boat and ride a boat properly Talk to this person. I don't know. I'm assuming it's this person. Hello. I noticed that you were been wandering around looking a little lost. You must be tourist, no? Oh, you are French. In a way, are you, madam? Pas talk? I am Mari. Martin? A full-fledged citizen of Sangria. Ah, oh, forgive me. Well then, Martin, perhaps you would be able to tell us something about the Poponios? The souvenirs? What about them? First of all, where did they all come from? Oh, man. Ah, you want to know why they're so popular, the Koi? Well, I am only recently became a full-fledged citizen of Sangria, so perhaps I'm not the best person to ask this. Oh, I see. But I know someone who might be able to help you. My dear friend that runs the stall up those stairs. Her family lives here for a long time, so I'm sure she can help you. But... Mizume? Don't you want to slow down and relax? Have a look around, enjoy the sunshine? Person's like, was like, hey, you remember those French high school French classes? Learn some more! Bah! <laughs> Elbowing our way through the crowds of tourists so we can casually take in the sights doesn't seem to be the best use of our time. I suggest that we head straight to this friend's uh, Martins. It would be more productive than losing ourselves in the sea of Popoños. I agree. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we got three hand coins that we are looking for. We're just hearing this Durian. All right, there is one hand coin. I want their one to be on this fucking sign. No, it's a puzzle. Back. You know, Professor, I am always grateful for these signposts. I don't much care for getting lost. Nor I. But as you can see in this puzzle, some signposts aren't practically helpful. Buns I must cut. <laughs> Puzzle number 056. Give me a sign, too. Oh, yes. Okay. This couple had been gone into the... Gone for a walk in the woods, and they managed to get lost somewhere along the way. They find find a signpost, but it's old and worn beaten. All the pieces that used to form an arrow have fallen off. It seems impossible to read the broken pieces if the sign can be found on the ground around it, though. Do you think you can help the couple put the pieces back on the sign so they can work out where to find them? Okay. It might be like that. Mm-hmm. That. Also that. Mm. It might be uh this one. So I can rotate things. Um. Okay, that fits, that fits. Rotate, please. Jeez. There we go. Okay. I think I did everything right. Maybe it. Puzzle! Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. <laughs> That's right. The exposed parts of the sign got a bit faded from the sun. So if they had taken a right at this junction, they should be able to make it out of the forest. How dare. All right. <laughs> Get lost would now appear to be a thing of the past. All right, still looking for hand coins. We're looking for two more because, yep. Oh, we have a bashful sunflower. 
All right, that is two. And three. So we got all things, and we're going to talk to her. So this will um, probably be our last puzzle. I'm going to make sure that um, we do everything because on the last two pages of the thing. And then we're probably going to end it for the night because my throat is starting to hurt. And we just ran out of our pre-rolled ads. So. I apologize to those of you who aren't subbed. Hi, Menace! How are you? I'm doing good. Traditional Pocono's cakes. Selling like hotcakes, only twice as fast. Exhausted from work, but I'm okay. Oh, I'm glad you, you get to rest now. It smells good. Oh, hola. Care to taste one of the finest poplinos cakes in the whole of Sangiro? Just one bite and your mind will be taken back to the happiest days of your life. Oh, go on, you're tempting me. You know... It's even better if you savor the taste along with the puzzle. Puzzle number 055. Very specific scoop. In your ice cream shop, uh, you overhear a fussy Fernando uh, mumbling to himself. Can you make him an ice cream cone that he wants? I don't want either flavors. I don't want either of the flavors on the ends at the bottom of the cone. Okay. Is C chocolate? Oh, I hate chocolate. In the middle, I want one that is second from one of the ends. B is vanilla, right? I prefer one ice... I prefer, prefer one of the ice creams next to that to be on the top. D is pistachio flavor. That one's definitely not going in the middle. Sir? Okay. We're just gonna go ahead. Okay. Um. Alright. He definitely does not want chocolate at all. So that one we can just rule out. We're working with three different flavors right here. Um, okay, we're gonna color coat. Okay, so we're gonna make yellow the bottom. We're gonna make this one, this one, and we'll just do blue for the top. Okay, I don't want either flavors on the ends for the bottom of the coat. We're going to go ahead and switch it to yellow. And we're going to go ahead and cross out the ends. So either it can be vanilla or pistachio. He does want pistachio on the thing, but he doesn't want it in the middle. Okay, so it either can be B or it can be D. Okay. Going down, um, I don't want either flavors on the end of the, at the bottom. See, chocolate, uh, I hate chocolate, so it's not C at all. Um, in the middle, I want one that is second from one of the ends. Okay, so he wants it to be one of these. In the middle, I want one of the second one from the ends. Okay, but the thing is, he wants deep pistachio ice cream is definitely not going in the middle. So I'm thinking this one will be B. Um, okay, B is vanilla, right? I prefer 
Uh, I prefer the one of the ice creams next to it to be on top. So the only one next to it is A, which is, I believe, strawberries. So I think that one should be that. Which leaves um, only D over here to be the bottom. So I think... I think it should be that. Oh, it's mochi colors. The little like dangos. Cute. Um Okay, yeah, I have that. I have that. And I have that. Okay. All right. Now we just got to double check. And do 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 do. Yep. And knock him down. Buzz <laughs> Huh, that was a cinch. All right. Ice cold. The ice cream, the only ice cream that would satisfy this hard to please. Henry's demand goes from the top down. Strawberry A, vanilla B, pistachio D. And he looks delighted. Didn't you just say banana? You know what, whatever. Oh, we got a dress up request. <laughs> My homemade recipe is getting very, very popular with the tourists these days. Do you know that they squeezed an article about it into the edition of the World Times? That's impressive. How did you know those ingredients would turn into such a delicious cake? Oh, it didn't. Oh, I didn't work it out. No, it was my great, 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 great great-grandmother on my father's side. Our family has been following the Popo Neo's tradition for many generations now. One day when I get married and have kids, I'm going to teach them all about it. That's quite the lengthy history. Yep. We got it all written down in a book, you know. What's it called again? Ah, see. From No No... From no ponyos to poponyos. And it tells you everything you need to know about the po history of the poponyos. A great read. It was a real bestseller, by which I mean it really s it sold really well. By which I mean it's completely sold out. Oh. But you need you've read it, right? So you must be able to tell us if there's any Azran ruins on the island. Ruins? Hmm. No, sorry. I don't remember there any mention of ruins in our history. Nothing at all. Oh, now I feel terrible. I'm so sorry. The Popo Nyo's uh, tradition is supposed to be spreading love and happiness. Maybe you could try the archipelago to the south? Oh, thank you. But that won't help us. Er, uh, on the bright side, the cake the cake really hit the spot. Yes, yes. Drop by um, whenever you like more. I must admit, I really hadn't expected the Popo Nyo's to have such a de detailed history. But, Professor, that history is really just making it more difficult to find the real egg. Well, we'll find it, Emmy. Don't worry. Quite right, Aurora. Pessimism will get us nowhere. Besides, our investigation has only just begun. We still have the day ahead of us and much more information to gather. I hope we can stop for a cake at some point. Of course, standard procedure. Alright, um... Okay, yeah. But with that, I think we'll end up calling it. Um, we'll finish most of all the rest of this um, later on. As I hold up, click through. Yeah. We're almost full of the request. Um, 
Uh, we're about like halfway there. All right, bashful sunflower. This healthy plant runs on contrary, runs contrary to the laws of nature by turning away from the sun. All right, we'll go ahead and save. So we at least got one egg. So we'll take that. Mm -hmm. Here it is. <laughs> but yeah. Ugh. But yeah, um, so on Wednesday we should um we should be continuing or not continuing. Um I think Wednesday or last Wednesday was supposed to be on Darkest Dungeon. So I'm going to be trying Darkest Dungeon um, out for the first time on Wednesday. And then Friday there won't be a stream. And then there won't be a stream on Monday either. And there possibly won't be another stream on Wednesday because that's the day I will be getting back. So um, Depending on if I'm tired or not, will I might stream on Wednesday or I might not. I'll go ahead and just mention it in the Discord if I do. But other than that, we'll uh definitely on Friday, I think. But hmm. Do, do, do. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, thanks for coming out and hanging out with me. Uh, I'm glad that we were able to get through. Um, we were able to get through um, a lot. And we were able to at least find a Meg. Right now, I'm trying to see if we can raid someone. Seeing um, if there's someone who is live. Hmm. Oh, look, me. <laughs> You got any suggestions? Because <laughs> I had rated rain um, before. <laughs> if not, I can just easily end it. <laughs> I got nobody. Yep. Well, then we won't be raiding. <laughs> then I'll just go ahead and end it. Oh, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with me. And Sanity, thanks for jump scaring me. Other than that, I will possibly see you guys Wednesday for Darkest Dungeon. Where you just might see me just cry. Because dear lord. No, oh, I don't even know if I'm ready for Darkest Dungeon. 
but something we're going to cross off the list. But other than that, thank you for coming out. I hope you all have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.